Hi, Dawn Stein's Lamenti. Curing cancer is in the headlines with a new presidential task force. I talked to one doctor and author who says the power is within you. Meet Dr. Pallav Mehta, once a personal trainer and fitness guru turned nationally acclaimed author and world-class oncologist. Like many cancer doctors, Dr. Mehta believes the newly announced billion-dollar national cancer moonshot will save lives through cancer cures and prevention. When Nixon declared the war on cancer some 40, 45 years ago, the idea was we would focus on the disease. So we would say that, you know, we're going to try to kill the disease. But we sort of missed the forest for the trees because we were focusing on the cancer, but then missing the fact that the cancer was growing in an environment of a person, of an immune system, of a lifestyle. And so what's happening now is that we're taking advantage of immunotherapy. The newest wave of cancer treatment is targeted treatment, harnessing the power of the immune system, gene therapy, viral vector. I mean, it's this amazing new type of treatment, but it's taking advantage of the idea that you don't just focus on the cancer, you focus on everything. Dr. Mehta's innovative philosophy has drawn national acclaim on shows like Dr. Oz. His new book, After Cancer Care, is not just for cancer survivors. Dr. Mehta believes we can all modify our lifestyle, food choices, exercise, and daily habits to prevent or survive diseases like cancer, which will strike 1.6 million Americans this year alone. It's important to remember you don't have to be perfect. You know, you can fall off the wagon but you can get right back on and not to beat yourself up about it. So I try to try to instill that in my kids. His wife and children told me they're proud of him, especially 13-year-old daughter Isabel, who says her dad taught her that good health begins with a healthy attitude. Be mindful of what you're eating, but don't, like, overthink. So, like, sometimes people will, like, be like, I can't eat any sugar today or I can't have any dessert today. And, like, I think that, especially, like, when you're an athlete, it's, like, good to be really healthy, but it's okay sometimes to like have a dessert. Simple lessons proven to be life-saving. New research shows a direct link between obesity and cancer, which will kill 600,000 Americans this year. Obesity is quickly becoming the, the biggest modifiable risk factor for death in this country, particularly related to heart disease and cancer. Cancer, there's about seven, eight different mechanisms. Inflammation, immune function, um, insulin resistance, I mean, amazing, you know, research going on right now. Just at our national meetings, we're seeing a lot more attention to obesity in the cancer meetings. Eating your greens and exercising once a day is not enough. Dr. Mehta says new studies prove we need to be on the move. His mission? To keep people informed, motivated, and moving toward a well-rounded, healthier way of life. He warns about the so-called sitting disease. 125,000 people were studied, and those who sat more than six hours a day, women who sat more than six hours a day, had a one, almost 100%, so twice as likely risk of dying from cancer and heart disease, just because they sat. Doctors and all the researchers say you don't necessarily have to go to the gym. Just get up, don't sit. At least six hours of sitting a day can be deadly. Reporting for Another Thing, I'm Dawn Stenslin-Menti. Up next, Larry's commentary.